Hello and welcome back one and all. So we are here today at Joint Stonewood to complete the next lot of quests and have a look at the new merge shop. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So plenty of rep and XP to earn here and the quests really are quite straightforward. So we'll go through the usual format of telling you what you need to do. So once you defeat the tree ants, you can then just go along and click on the acorns like I did and it's really as simple as that. So next quest, go defeat some drones. And once you've done that, you should just be able to defeat the mech and he will drop you the lower item as well. By lower, I mean the one that you literally only need one of. So that's nice and straightforward. Okay, next up is the same thing again. You just want to keep continuing through the rooms, click on the axe. You will notice that you probably didn't click all the bits on the floor or at least walk over them because there is a final one in the main area where the NPC is. So just try not to miss out on that. There's nothing at all past the axe, so don't even go searching there. Anyway, so the next quest has you defeating a sort of mini-boss. We'll say mini-boss, it's just really a normal monster to be honest. But anyway, you can then click on the axe again for the next quest. And then things will start to get ever so slightly more interesting as we continue to the castle. So make sure you click on that to join the next map. So here we are at Join Tech Dungeon for the next lot of quests. So in here it's literally just a big prison cell and you can go through, defeat the monsters that you need to. Okay, so for this second quest, you want to click on the keypads on the doors and the rats are actually located inside. I'd pick the first door to go into, but that's just because of the way I am. So they are, there's some green rats. Defeat 10 of them and then continue in unlocking the rest of the doors. They are nice and straightforward. Alright, so next up, you need to get these armor pieces and it is from these new enemies down the end. They are the guards. So you can literally just keep on spamming them and they will drop you all the items that you need. Alright, so head back to the room we were just in and you will see there is this guard here who's numbered because I guess that's just the way they do things in this area. And then there's more quests to do once you're through the door. So, once you've done that quest, we have another really straightforward one immediately after. Again, just click on the keypad on the door there and that is all you need to do. So next we need to make our escape. So there'll be another lot of quests that will load up and you need to defeat all the enemies in the room and then just keep advancing through to the right as you can see me doing here. It's really, really not too challenging at all. The boss has about 140,000 health this week so lower levels you may have an issue but other than that he really is not a challenge. And there you go, there's your boss fight, 10,000 XP, so worth putting XP boost on if you do have one available. I'm doing a terrible example of showing you that and totally forgot to put a boost on for the whole of this event, but never mind. Anyway, so once you've done that, that is literally all the quests here complete and we can go have a look at the shop. Now, it is a merged shop, it has got some adventure coin tagged items, some member items, so that is really nice. So if you do want to farm these ones, it is really actually quite worth it because, well, at least get the adventure coin tagged ones just so you can fill up your bank even more. I mean, mine's literally tipping over the edges at the minute, but that's just the way it goes with the Adventure Quest Bank. So guys, again, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you give the video a like, and of course subscribe, and I will see you all again incredibly soon. We're probably due a char page video, I think, so hopefully I'll get that one going. So until then, have a lovely day.